Hi, right, well in this video I would like to talk about another really important part of the installation and that's the discovery of machines. Well in this video I will cover not only the actual discovery and the way how you can get them into MoiQ but also I would like to touch the configuration profiles. A tool through which you can set everything automatically and especially for a large scale deployment get everything installed in a matter of hours without the need of being you know at the machine and set everything manually as always we will start with a little bit of a theory about the actual problematic so when it comes to the installation of machines it's not only about a server but also about getting all those machines into the database of the server but the crucial part is about the installation of the application that can then work with the machine you can either do it manually which for small installation is fine but it will be really annoying, especially when it comes to the large scale deployment, when you will have multiple locations with hundreds of devices and all of those must be installed. Of course, you can use a third party applications to do so. So you can install the applications remotely. But in that case, you don't have the full level of control, which you would have if you used MyQ. But in the next slide of the presentation, I will then show you how you can use all the things of MyQ, especially the configuration profiles, through which you can set the behavior and settings that should be applied to individual machines. So, how does this work? It's pretty simple, and I will start with the explanation of the actual profile and how it can help you at your installation. As you can see, I've got here two segments, the server, and then the network. The main part with which we will start is the part of the server. Because here, once the server application is installed, we have to create the already mentioned configuration profile, a tool through which you can control all your machines and especially the applications and the settings applied. So, when it comes to the profile, it actually consists of few components. The actual settings, how the device should behave and, you know, everything about the finishing option and stuff like this. You can use the filters through which you can identify specific device types or device models. Based on that, you can divide them into device groups and then again use the groups for either for accounting or for the application of different access rights or available options. The profile can also install the drivers. So if you are using Microsoft based print server, the drivers and all the settings, including the ports, can be predefined using the configuration profile. And last but not least, the most important part, which is the embedded application. Because you will just install the client on the server and then based on the profile you will define, the system will automatically populate it to all the machines within your fleet. So like you can see, I've got here three profiles prepared. Two of them are using different embedded type, and the last one is about the single function devices, which will not have any application, but should be monitored using SNMP version 1. So how this will be applied when it comes to deployment? We've created those profiles and started the printer discovery. The printer discovery process pretty much analyzes your network, identifies the machines and gets them into system. So the first step after the initiation of the process will be actually the system will identify all your printers and multifunction devices in your network. Based on the predefined filters, it can send them into those already mentioned groups and based on that, apply those profiles. So then the application is of course automatically installed to the machines that should be using that and that are capable of using the application. The system automatically detects which machine can use which type of a profile, so you don't have to worry, everything will be installed automatically. And of course, if you use that option, the Windows printers will be created on the print server, so you can then just share them to your users and the job is done. This is the important part, but even more important is the part that comes after this one. Because the profiles were created the way to help you, especially in a case of a large scale deployment, a situation where you have to install hundreds of machines, but you are on your own. Because you can predefine the profiles, you can predefine all the settings and put them as a scheduled task 
So the whole discovery process, including those profiles, can work in the background and scan the network, for example, every single hour. Once the network is scanned, it will automatically identify all the machines and apply all the settings, as you will see in a couple of seconds. So let's say I scheduled it, so the system now identifies new machines as they are added to the network, installs the application, applies all the settings. So if it's a large-scale deployment, me as an admin who is you know, taking care of the server side, I've prepared those profiles, let them run, and at the end of the day, or maybe even after a week, if it's a really large-scale deployment, I can just come to the server, check that everything is done based on those profiles, and I will just find all those machines in my database with all the applied settings and application installed. Now, this whole tool can be used for deployment, as I've already explained, but at the same time, there are two additional features which you can achieve by using the configuration profiles and discovery. The first one is an update of the fleet. So if a new machine is added to your fleet, for example, the old one is too old, it's no longer you know, capable of doing what you need, you will just replace it by the new machine and the system will do the thing that it will identify the machine, apply all the setting and get it into your fleet. No additional settings required from your side. The next option is then about a settings update, because it may happen that for some reason you need to change certain settings of any of those machines. Instead of again going one by one, you can just modify the profile on your server and based on that the system will update all your machines that are belonging to that profile. So as you can see, for large scale deployments and management, the configuration profiles will be an ideal tool. So let me just quickly summarize the topic we spoke about. What this is about, it's pretty much about the automatic device discovery and also their management. The configuration profiles is then a tool that will help you to set all the machines and apply the settings, especially for the large scale deployments. So you can apply different settings, you can sort the devices into groups, install the drivers if that is required, and the most important part, the configuration profile will automatically install the embedded application to all the machines. It can also be used for the update of a fleet. So in a case a device is replaced by a new one, the system will automatically identify it and just simply apply all the related settings. In a case that you are using multiple embedded terminals and different uh, applications, you don't have to worry because the system will automatically recognize which embedded should be installed. And also this can be used for adding new machines. So if something is there, it will automatically recognize not only the multifunctional machines, but also small printers and everything is damn really simple and fully automatic. Now, there are a few related topics I would definitely recommend you to you know, go through, and that's the system management and notification, which is the next video in this course. So, that'll be pretty much everything about this topic, so thank you very much for watching this video, and let's see each other at another about the MyQ.